Boy, it's bell ringing season, and Nate Wyatt just got his bell rung by rapper DDG. <laughs> DDG is a successful rapper with over millions of followers on all his platform. He's worked with Queen Nigel, Corley Ray, and many other artists. Had that boy punch drunk in the ring. Now, while I commend anyone who has the courage to step in that ring, I also think it would be in your best interest not to make a fool of yourself doing something that's not you. I always used to box when I was like younger. I got a lot of experience, so this is something that I always wanted to do as a kid. It's like a bucket list thing. How serious are you taking this? Hey, is this this, 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 this shit light work to you? This See, light work? This is extremely light. Like, look at my opponent. He dance. Yo, fight, he's, he's, bro. He's a he's How a he's a tick. He's a dancer. Yo, can their mic? Yo, are you high right now? Huh? Are you high right now? Nah. Where Yo, gas out. Then. Gassed out in the first round. I saw that. I get tagged in all oh, your shit. Years ago. You remember that? Uppercut your shit. None of that shit is going to matter, bro. We'll Whoa. see. We'll see. We'll all see. All y'all niggas do. You oh, Barbie. Barbie. You're a Barbie. You're a Barbie. Okay. And this Barbie's about to knock you out. Now they say he hit Nate so hard, Nate grabbed him and said, pray with me, brother, and start singing. My Sherry and Ma. Look, Nate, let me tell you something. There was no pressure on you whatsoever. If you know you have no experience in boxing, there's no need to talk trash. All right, so it's gonna be really awkward when you lose. It's gonna be real awkward. Listen. Lots of people didn't expect you to win because you're inexperienced. You are an R&B singing, modeling TikToker. Boy, we know you softer than tempur cotton candy, goose-feathered field pillows. When he was training in the gym, you was working on your bathroom selfie. You don't have nothing to prove to us. When I saw that you was gonna be fighting DDG, I said, oh, this got to be a prank. Turns out it was real. You didn't have to do tough talk to sell the fight. Hell, if I was you, I would have said, I'm gonna probably hit him at least once or twice. And everybody would have been like, yep, he could do that. That's good goals. Boy, I know when he turned your head into a speed bag, your agent and manager was like, cancel his photo shoot and his audition for Aladdin part two. They say each time DDG hit Nate, he sounded like the dream on the song Falsetto. Reschedule all of it. He gonna need time to recover. Lesson of the day is you can lie to everybody else, but you can't lie to yourself. Be true to who you are. Speak according to your experience. Shout out to DDG for taking the gold home. I'm out. I'm Wellington Ojuku. You guys been great. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so very much. Ready? Don't forget to like, comment, and share it. Follow me on all social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Wellington Ojuku.